Hello and welcome to Kismet Rising. Today I would like to talk about the Mercury retrograde, its shadow, and the current rhetoric around the Mercury retrograde. So in the last years, there have been many astrologers on YouTube that talk about the Mercury retrograde and create a perception about the Mercury retrograde, which is actually to the detriment of many concerned. And that is what I'd like to talk about today. Now, most YouTubers who do astrology videos talk about the Mercury retrograde and the problems with it. They also advise that you shouldn't travel during this time or that you ought not to buy electronics or any machinery, anything mechanical during this time. They advise you not to travel. They advise you not to buy any great products. They ask you to take extra caution during this time. Now, I think that Mercury retrogrades have become this huge sensational hype that has been used by a lot of uh, YouTube astrologers to kind of gain attention and to bring attention to their channel during these last few years. With all due respect to all astrologers out there and what they believe the Mercury retrograde has to offer, what I've found is that the Mercury retrograde period that astrologers talk about signify a very deep spiritual learning space and time. And it isn't that you ought to stop uh, traveling or not buy expensive products. It isn't like that at all. In fact, it's very much that you should travel during this time and that you should buy products during this time. Very likely, if you need to buy an expensive product during this time, like a new phone or a new computer or um, a new washing machine, it will be because you require it. And the Mercury retrograde period will bring that up. It'll bring that to the into focus. You need to repair your machinery or you need to actually buy a new product uh, or replace it in some way. And this doesn't necessarily mean that you have to go out and buy something. This simply means that you've got to make more efficient the product that you do have. So I'm not suggesting that you go out and buy things during this time necessarily. And I'm, But I'm also not saying that it's, it's a bad time to buy things. So the reason I'm doing this video is because a lot of my clients come to me and they say, oh, the astrologers say that it's Mercury retrograde, so I shouldn't do this and I shouldn't do that. And I'm afraid of this and I'm afraid of that. And there's almost like this kind of uh, feeling of dread uh, about the, the Mercury retrograde that's coming into being. And there is a large kind of blockage that's created as a result of the fear that one has because of this huge Mercury retrograde hype. Now, what I found is that with regard to travel, it is important to travel in a way that you are quite cognizant during this time. So what might happen is that one might be prone to forgetting things or to being sidetracked or to be distracted during this time. But it is important to ensure that you make a list of things and you're able to tick off all those things on that list during this time. This will help you rather because you can't depend completely on your mind, but you can depend very much on things like organization. So what does the Mercury retrograde period talk about in terms of the energy? I'm not reading this from an astrological point of view. I am reading this from an energetic point of view. And this is after many, many years of watching many Mercury retrogrades and coming to these conclusions. I found that it's important to be quite meticulous during the Mercury retrograde time. And it's important to replace products that need to be replaced or to repair products that need to be repaired. It's important to look back at what you have not been doing and actually finish these things up. It's important to tie up all strings. So if you have a lot of things that are incomplete lying around or things that are in disrepair lying around, the Mercury retrograde period is a great time in which to repair things and to settle things, to bring things to, to completion, to bring closure. So this Mercury retrograde period is almost like a kind of a caveat in the energy of the year that says, okay, go inward, deal with what you need to deal with at this moment and come out of it fresh and new and ready as we go forth. So there's nothing to be afraid of in terms of the retrograde than a Mercury retrograde or the shadow period. What is necessary is that you actually buckle up before the ride and that you look forward to it and that you are feeling grateful for all the spiritual truths and gifts that will come as a result 
of that mercury retrograde. So if you approach it in this way, you will find that you are able to make a much better use of the periods of mercury retrograde in the year, rather than if you are fearing it and thinking, I'm not really sure of what's going to happen here, or I don't really know what's going to happen at all. And, oh gosh, the mercury retrograde's coming. Everything's going to break. I'm going to be late. My appointment's not going to go well. There's going to be miscommunication. But no, it's not like that. This is something that's created simply by you believing in it. What is necessary for you is to be more meticulous, to be more observant of your speech, so that when you are communicating with others, you are aware of how they are responding or receiving your message. Sometimes what you are saying is not being heard in the same way in which you say it. So your responsibility is to ensure that. And those are the things that a mercury retrograde period requires from you. So in summary, during a mercury retrograde, ensure that you are quite meticulous and effective and cognizant during your times of travel, as well as as you communicate with others. Ensure that you are, in fact, replacing or repairing products, whether they be electronics or other kinds of machinery during this time, even your cars. Ensure that anything mechanical, that you are taking extra care of it during this time, and that might require replacing or, as mentioned, repairing it. Ensure that you take care of these things, because if you don't take care of these things, this is what will come to the fore and it will require your attention. So that is just my take on the Mercury retrogrades. Don't get caught up in the sensational hype. It really is just causing more harm than good to be worried about something that is not actually there. And this is just a kind of rhetoric of the Mercury retrograde that has come up in the recent years that people have used to their advantage, but to the detriment of the greater good and for all concerned. So be aware of that and take your power back into your hands and make this retrograde, this mercury retrograde, count for you. Use it to your advantage. So that's it for today in terms of your snippet from Kismet Rising. I hope that you're all doing well and I hope that you are shining as bright as you can. Sending you much love, many blessings abound.